Hey dudes, Silvite so Soltis, back again to continue my story of my first trip to the Scarlet Monastery. Last time, I told why I was sent here, as well as my epic journey through the Western Plague Lands and past the Bulwark. Well, today we are diving into the monastery itself, one wing at a time, starting with the armory. Before we get started though, remember to subscribe to this channel for updates when they come out. Also, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and check out my blog over on Blogspot. But now, on with the story. It was a cold day in late December 2005 when our party ran through the now open door and into the swirling blue portal that lay beyond. Our warrior tank, mage, rogue, third DPS, and I soon passed the loading screen and were stood in a short hallway. Here, we buffed up got our mana back, and began our adventure. The dungeon itself wasn't too challenging, to be honest, as we were all around level 36 to 38, if I remember correctly. And with a rogue and a mage, our crowd control made it all the easier. We passed through the first open area carefully, though, clearing the hallway as we went to avoid accidentally pulling additional enemies. Within minutes, we began our descent down the first flight of stairs into the armory proper. Now, this is where things began to get a little bit hairy. You see, I wasn't aware of the pack waiting directly at the bottom of the staircase, so as the tank stood idle waiting for our mage to drink up to full mana, I just ran straight past and face pulled the first pack. Luckily for me, this clearly wasn't his first time doing this dungeon, nor experiencing noobs like me face pulling, and he quickly picked up the two mobs eating my face. The mage sheeped the caster in the back, and we managed to survive by the skin of our teeth. Sorry, I said in chat. No problem, we lived, just be careful next time, he replied. And I was. For the remainder of the dungeon, I stayed in the back, always behind the warrior and never daring to move too far ahead. Looking back, this really is the first time I learned not to go in front of the tank in a dungeon a lesson that I still remember when playing MMOs to this day. We cleared each pack, slowly progressing through the twisting but linear path until we arrived at the final stretch. The trash in that final hallway was brutal, if I remember correctly, with the scarlet Myrmidons hitting like an absolute truck. We wiped once on the trash there, having gotten just a little bit too close to the next pack down the hall. Luckily, we had no respawns yet, and so we were able to run back through and finish the last of it without significant issue, being considerably more careful not to let a similar mistake happen again. Finally, we'd arrived. Herod's chamber at last. Again, the rogue walked up to the door blocking our path to unlock it. As it swung open, our warrior ran inside. Stood below, in the center of the large circular room, was Herod, the Scarlet Champion. Now, I had no idea what this guy did, so I thought it would be a good idea to stand up at the top of the stairs for the fight alongside the mage. After all, we were both casters, and as long as we were within range, it should be simple enough. The warrior jumped down and engaged the target, spamming Sunder Armor like there was no tomorrow. I assume, anyway. I remember the damage on him being a bit heavy, but not so much that I couldn't heal through it. So. As you do, I cast a couple of Shadow Word Pains and Mind Flays on Herod when I could, nearly wrecking my mana pool by the end. The spinning whirlwinds offed our rogue, who had attempted to follow the tank, and thus Herod, as he moved away from the damage. So we were down one from about halfway through the fight. Looking back, I probably could have kept him up if I had been playing my role properly, but that's besides the point. Anyway, the final 10% got quite intense, with the mage and I being completely out of mana, and our warrior nearly dead. However, with the last of our combined wand damage, we got him. Our tank still stood at a lowly 5% health, but my quest log lit up with the words, Herod slain one out of one, on the right hand side of my screen, and everything seemed alright. We did it. Success. Well, almost. You see, 
Back then, when Herod the Scarlet Champion was killed, it spawned a crap ton of low, non-elite Scarlet trainees to attack the party. Unfortunately, the mage and I didn't know this, and I guess the other party members either hadn't noticed our position, or had forgotten about this little event. So as soon as Herod fell, the two of us were swarmed by these mobs and killed within seconds, having no way to defend ourselves from the surprise attack. We sighed, or at least I assume they did, because I sure did, ran back to the instance and made our way back to the final chamber, carefully noting any remaining patrols as we did so, as to not get killed again. Collecting our loot, we turned around and made our way out to head over to the next destination, the cathedral. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Memories of Vanilla. Like I said, this experience with Scarlet Monastery is a very clear memory and has a lot of nostalgia for me. So it'll take a few videos to get through the whole thing. Remembering back now, this must have happened sometime during my school's winter break, as I clearly remember doing all of this in one sitting, which means Leica must have been working, as I was still on his account at that time. I also remember getting my level 40 mount sometime in mid-January of 2006, so it seems to line up properly. Honestly, with over 13 years since these events took place, a lot of the details regarding time and dates have gotten mixed up in my mind, but this is one I'm fairly certain about. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more in the future, remember to subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for more updates. Check out my blog over on Blogspot, but for now, take it easy guys.